Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. The vlog starts here. The time is nine o'clock and I have already edited the daily vlog from the RS3 and looking back on the content, I'm in love with that car. Ah, oh, it's just, it is just insane. And um, the day is going to go as follows. I am just gonna be editing in the morning. I've got three videos to make to do with the RS3 and my day yesterday with Audi. And then I'm just gonna be vlogging throughout the day. I'm heading over to SB because I wasn't anywhere near my emails or any sort of social media yesterday. So I'm having to uh, get into the office, sort all of that out, might have a mooch around and see what cars are there. And then this evening it's going to be central London doing a bit of car spotting. I did see yesterday on Instagram that there is a matte red McLaren P1 owned by Team Gallag from Gumball 3000. But it's heading down to Le Mans for this weekend if I'm right. So it's going to be highly unlikely that I see that car driving in the wild. But that doesn't mean or it's not going to stop me from seeing some really cool cars. So fingers crossed that London tonight is a really good day. I've completely lost track of time this morning. I've edited two videos, I'm getting them online. And as you would have seen yesterday, the daily vlog went live at midday and then the RS3 first drive went live last night at 7 p.m. So I've just been smashing it out. It's taken forever. Um, and so I haven't even really got ready for the day, haven't even had breakfast. I'm just really focused on getting these daily vlogs out and um, yeah, just smashing them basically. So the day's been completely pushed back. I'm gonna be spending the afternoon at SB. I wanna get in my car in the R8. I need to go and fill it up with fuel as well. If you remember two or three vlogs ago, I was nearly running out of fuel from Wilton House. So I need to do that. But uh, yeah, I'm starting to feel hungry now. And um, I, bearing in mind, I've been in my bedroom since I woke up at about half past eight editing videos and now it's half past 11. Four hours it's taken me to edit two videos and get them onto the internet. So uh, it's been a busy, relatively relaxed morning because I've been in bed doing it, but yeah. Oh my God, it's hot in here. I have no idea what the temperature is, but I'm out and ready to get petrol. Finally, getting myself sorted. There's the fuel light. <laughs> We're on the move. I've got 15 miles of fuel, so I haven't got much. Saying that it's 20 do 22 degrees outside. This thing sounds brutal. The RS3 yesterday was unbelievable, but then as soon as you sit back in this car, you're so low to the ground. One thing that I said actually yesterday was, if that's what the new RS3 is like, what is the new Audi R8 V10 Plus gonna be like? It is mind blowing and apparently it's on par than the Lamborghini Huracan, which you can kind of get really. This car sounds amazing. Heading up to uh, the fuel station, the first fuel station I ever filled this car up, and that was when I broke my fuel cap. If you haven't seen that video, then uh, it's about a year, year and two months ago. It was um, an interesting time because I had about 15 miles of fuel. I seriously cannot believe today. So I went and got fuel, came back, had some lunch slash breakfast slash lunch because I hadn't had anything, some brunch. Back on my laptop, I've been editing the final video of the RS3, which probably isn't gonna go live until in a month's time. And the reason for that will be explained 
soon. However, the time is now half past three, which means I've got about an hour before I begin to head into London. It's going to be a fantastic day. There's rumours that there is an Arab purple P1 arriving. So I just can't believe that if this luck actually continues and I head into central London, then that's going to be huge. I'm going to be meeting up with a friend as well. And fingers crossed, he um, is coming in a pretty special car, which I'm going to be doing a separate feature video on as well. So um, I've got my fingers crossed. And at the moment, I'm waiting for my laptop to just render this video. Then I've got to convert it, then it upload it. And then I've got another video sitting on the YouTube channel. So it's been a day of editing, but what was I going to expect after a full day of filming with the Audi RS3? Let me know your thoughts on the RS3 as a package. How incredible is it? How good it sounds? I think you voiced your opinion pretty strongly on Instagram and Twitter about how good it is. But let me know what you think of my videos as well, because it's the first time that I've ever done a press day driving that sort of car um, or driving any car on a press day. So fingers crossed, I get invited to a lot more of these things where I can create content for you to watch and enjoy and come on my journey with me, basically. So I think I need another drink of water. My voice is going again. So the difference between taking, let's say, this car into London as opposed to the smart car is I was very comfortable with just taking a smart car down all of the tight, narrow roads through the middle of North London, Edgware Road, that sort of area that I normally go. Abbey Road, you may know going across the um, Zebra Crossing where the Beatles crossed. However, in this car, you can't really do that. It's not that great in and around town and it's not that good or enjoyable as start stop, especially in this heat. So every time I go in the R8, I have to go round, rather than going straight down, I go round the M25 and then in through the either M40 or the M4, which is um, the London infrastructure in terms of how many roads you can get to London is good, but it's so bad. The traffic is awful. I'm doing 10 miles an hour at the moment. It should take me around an hour and 20 minutes, but in the smart car, it's taken me 45 minutes. So it is quite a lot longer, which is frustrating. Um, but at least the sun's shining, 24 degrees outside it's saying, if it's boiling in here, I've just put the window up and I have, and I'm gonna stop this so I can put the window back down. made it to London, although well, a bumpy London, we've made it to London with zero traffic, the only traffic coming when we hit red lights, which is a success. It's a lovely day in London, Maserati being the first nice car that um, I'm able to find. But today is all about going for a bit of a supercar hunt, nothing more, nothing less just hunting down supercars. Right, you would have seen from my Instagram, if you follow me on Instagram, that I just saw a black 918. Now, I need to go and hunt it down, it's SOS4, it was driving in electric mode, but it just looks super sleek. The roof wasn't even on it. I mean, the roof was, wasn't even off, even though it's 24 degrees outside. So I'm gonna try and hunt it down and catch it on film, even though it's in electric mode, still a cool car. Right, I found a place to park up. This was literally where I saw the 918 not so long ago. Don't know what that Range Rover's doing, whether he wants to park in my space or not. This is just temporary and I'm at an angle. Which... Uh, ah! Oh, 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 I need to run, I need to run. There's a Lambo start up.
Right, we've been walking around for a bit with Rich N. Williams here, the most famous cyclist in London. <laughs> Who? Than Lance Armstrong. Yeah. <laughs> so Rich chases supercars on his bicycle, risks his life every time he comes into central London, and the videos that he gets, unri like, you can't rival the content that he gets. He gets Zonda Chinkways go through the tunnel, 918s go through the tunnel. He gets everything. So you've got to go and check out his YouTube channel, Rich N. Williams, for the most crazy extreme cyclist, supercar hunting style <laughs> videos there ever is. But at the moment, there's no cars to find. We're heading back to Sloan Street. We've got a 458, which is always here, as you saw from last week's videos, and then my car's parked over there. Aha. We've got a Qatari Aventador that I haven't seen before. That's saying something. This car's been here how long? A month or so? A month and I haven't seen it so better get a picture. A pic Relatively quiet trip into London to be honest, not a lot going on. This yellow C63 though is awesome. I do love that. Can you see it? Can you see it? Oh no. S-Class Coupe as well doing the same turn. The C63 still there as well. Pretty cool. Mercedes combo, AMG combo. What a good looking sunset. This reminds me of the Lion King, to be honest. Not the M1, just that sunset that you can barely see. But I'm cruising back on the M1 now with uh, yeah, a pretty cool sunset. Not the greatest evening for cars, I have to admit. A few bits and pieces driving around. But it was good to get my R8 back into central London. It's been a while since it's been parked up on Sloan Street. Unfortunately, no purple P1. And unfortunately, again, no cool car that was supposed to be provided by a friend but it was still good to catch up with a few people tomorrow up really early I've got a long day ahead of me and a lot more miles in this car as well so lucky I've got a full tank thanks to uh, the top up that I did earlier on in the day had to get a head home that was a weird sense I'm gonna head home it's nine o'clock at the moment Jim is at ten so I'm gonna use this hour to dump all of these files try and get a little bit edited maybe because I don't want a late night. I'm going to go to the gym at 10 to 11 and then from 11 o'clock onwards be editing this video that you're watching now. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. I know that not much has happened today. I feel like I've just purely... And look at this Prius. That is the quickest I've ever seen a Prius and I was signing off so thanks for ruining my video Prius. Thank you so much for all of the support. It's amazing to see how many of you guys are enjoying watching these daily vlogs. I love producing them, I love making them for you all, and I'm just so thrilled that you all absolutely love them. Everything that I get up to, whether it's just eating cereal, whether I'm editing videos, whether I'm playing on the Xbox, whatever it is, just thank you for coming along on me, uh, with me on this journey, and I promise that this summer is one that the daily vlogs is gonna be a fantastic time to introduce to, so I will see you tomorrow. Thank you very much, bye-bye. Ha, 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 ha.